Hey there, hello, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter down and welcome you to second round coverage of the 62-2010s tournament from Hot Lanta at East Lake. We see Tommy Bolt, Julius Borles, and Tony Lima. Your leaders at 500 par, Jonathan Degg is at 500 par, and many others at 300 par. We are going to do one of the parents. It's the top 70 in ties, remember? We will, we had minus one is the tie break, a positive one. Anyway, we're in group five, the Canadian George Nutson with the Spaniard Rafa Cabrera Bello and the Irishman Christy O'Connor. Cabrera will lead us off. Not bad, 299 on the bed, Nutson. A little bit, so okay, 23. Second up, Christy O'Connor. Oh, that's a long drive. That's a long drive. That's 338. How did he get that? That's it. Trying to get to the pin. Slide it down. Yeah, it's not really that good. <clears throat> Cabrera. Can't even hit the green. Now a pitch for O'Connor. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Cabrera Bella wants to putt. Oh my goodness! He has 736 chance and a short down double threes to win. Here's Nutson. But he can't put his in. Cabrera Bella good. O'Connor for birdie. You just can't make those mistakes. You just can't make those mistakes. You're with it and a good shot. Now part three, Cabrera Bella. Oh, oh you cut that pitch. That would have been closer than the four yards. Nutson. Trying to get closer. Okay. To four. Oh, Connor. Trying to get the rolling, rolling, rolling. Nope. This is for birdies. 25 feet. Oh my goodness. That's a birdie. He had five and 36 pants. And he got it. Here's Nutson. Who puts his down? Nutson down. Claire Bell about to put his down. And he does. They all birdie this time. Part three. Cabrera Bellows looking good. Right off the start. Third hill for Cabrera. He throws that bunker. He does. That's it. That's all right. That's pretty good. Right there. Now Connor. All right. They all need to fire weight in one shot. Okay. Now let's see what they can do with the pin placement. That's it. Right at it! Ooh, the slope, the slope, the slope, the slope. Cabrera Bello. Oh, it pulls it back. Oh, God, it pulls back too much. There. That would have been fantastic if he didn't do the draw shot. Yeah. Oh, O'Connor. What a shot by O'Connor. That's him for Birdie. Oh. A car. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Cabrera for Birdie. Nope. By the park. By the park on a boat. Connor, and he's better put the play. He does. So, George Archer, Cabrera Bell, minus two. Tony Lima has just started, but he's had an even part through the first four holes. Yep, Lima. He's got to get a little more feisty. Connor, right up the gut. Oh, that's beautiful gun in the pipe. 323 on the gun. Look out. Cabrera Bello, yikesies. That's a... Alright. That's okay, that's okay. Got a tight shot. You gotta go for it. Three... That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Cabrera Bello. Connor. Dirt. Cabrera says, I want to putt. The bar. Oof. Nudson. Connor. No. This is part four, a long part four. O'Connor made a mistake. Nutson, not to get. 
Shots and now Bella for par. Ooh, all the momentum just taking it. Like the par. Oh yes, nicely mixed it. O'Connor. Oh, yes. So he's done okay. Now Lila Green. Hey, not even close. That's it. Archer's getting there, and Kepka's getting there. Now, I did screw up when I was looking at the stuff. I forgot to make sure Kepka did not make it to this tournament. So, yeah. Hello? Christy O'Connor? Why? Why, George? Why? Cabrera? Cabrera Bella? Oh, beautiful. Cabrera. Shots, that's fantastic. If you can't, 
you know, and you're getting three. No chance. So a couple of bot shots, one right, one left. I was gonna say one center. But, you know, second shot for Cabrera Bello. Cabrera okay. sixty-nine yards. Nonsense. Well, he's in the bunker. It could have been worse. Will he get on the green? He will. And the side up will be fine. We'll have to pitch it up. Car. Cabrera, no. You need more distance. That's it. That's it. You need more distance, buddy. Now, Connor, a pitch. My goodness. What? Can you do wrong? Cabrera Bello. Ooh, it's close. So far. Connor flubbed it. He had an easy chance to. A better birdie putt, and he flubbed it. That's him for birdie. Nope. Yeah. I'm not really that good. Tony Lima. It's even through. I think George Archer minus one. Matt Kuchar is right up there. Many of these guys haven't even started yet, so. See what can happen here. Cover fellow to the right. Okay, that's not bad. Could have been better. That's it. Oh, fuck. O'Connor, right up the middle. Can we see that? That's in second. Head to tree, but bounce back in a better position. O'Connor, at the rep. And Cabrera Bello plugged it. Now, pitch for Nutsen. O'Connor, let's pitch. Okay, that looks pretty good on for him. Cabrera Bello for his birdie. Oh, his pitch shot. Now, this is. He has to do this for par in order to get it. And Nutsen's really fucked up. Par. Where a fellow can't do anything about it, and that's what Kobe overshot it. Caught it for part. There goes volume 9 over par. I have half of mine just to close it down for now. Because of how bad Nutson and O'Connor are doing on the back. Cover a fellow. They'll have to go from the parking lot, to say the least. <clears throat> O'Connor. O'Connor. I think a lot of people are having troubles today. So, I don't know. Let's see. This is for Birdie. It's got a putt. Well, that's not a bad idea. O'Connor, that's not a bad idea. Get your cars when you can, buddy. That's it! Mike. Cabrera. Um. Ten of a par. You know what? Fuck this. I'm going to. We're going to watch the rest of it because these guys just can't play. So we'll just let T off and then look for the consequences. Of our actions. That's all you can ask for. All you can ask for is to do pretty well. Jay Herbert's trying to get close. Herbert's the guy with the beret. Tony Lima trying to get something going here. So our clubhouse leader will be Archer, George Archer. And Archer took second in June, so he's at 400 par. So he's the leader. Lima's at 500 par right now. Kepka and Hebert and Suchuk. Kepka doesn't exist for all intents and purposes. Well, Lee was at 500 par. He had an even par round. Archer 100 par. But Jay Herbert's putting on such a classic.
John Rum, six hundred part for the round, but I don't see him. It'd be crazy if we can do that and then he won't even come close to this leaderboard. And I don't see a Spanish flag, so. Something's amiss. Oh yeah, I had that. I had that stupid. Uh, what do you call it? Little round thing. Oh mom, six hundred par. It was five over par yesterday. Sorry about that. So yeah. Around, just don't freaking do that. I wonder if there's a few leaders from round four. Okay. But anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? So, John Rom said that, you know, 600 parts through the round, and he's just going to kind of get. Well, we know one. Well, Kevin Kistner might actually be. Making a move. There's Jumbo, Borles, and all them. So, Kevin Kistner. I don't think he was really that good of a golfer. I mean, I know he's still alive, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah. Just doing some authoritative orf work. Oh, Dick Meyer Eagle, so that stops right there. I keep my eyeballs open. Art Roll Jr. with a triple bogey. Wow, that really screwed him up. He had, was right there. Julius Barles is making a move, making money moves. Let's 
So it looks like Burl's a little kind of hard to leak. Well, he kind of wasn't leaked. So yeah, so too casual. Garner Dickinson sits under par. Well, he's now tied for 12. 300 par. So, oh, Boros with a 66, like Bryson DeChambeau. So, Boros will have to lead. Tommy Bolt, I don't know what he's going to do. Will he catch up? To the big boys. Charles Schwartzel. Brings his fourth straight hole. So, look good for him. Oh, good for you. Gardner Dickinson Jr. 700 par round. Let's see how far you can take it. I hope he must have dropped. I think he really dropped. Not good for Dickinson. He had the world at his hands. We should actually check at the, the cut line. I just realized I haven't checked the cut line. So the cut line, as of right now, is plus one. Mo Norman would miss out. Bruce definitely would miss. Doug Sanders would miss. Pat Perez would miss. Bob Charles would miss. Ricky Fowler would miss. And he took second place last time. Frank Beard, a quadruple bogey. He dropped to all the way to 300 par. He was at 700 par. So yeah, it looks like plus one is the cut line. And we would have... Oh no, it's top 60. Did I say top 60 in ties? Well, top 70. I think it was top 70 in time. So anyway, plus one is the cut line. So Mo Norman, Bruce Devlin, Doug Sanders, Pat Perez, and Bob Charles, Ricky Fowler, among others, will miss the cut at two over par. You have to be at one over par. So people like Brian Huggett, Jason Duffner, under par rounds. Finster will falling. Arnold Palmer. I haven't heard them. Well, the worst rounds, well, the Fourth person overall was Charlie Booty at 12 over par. Martin Laird surprised at 10 over par with Willie McGirt, J.D. Holmes, and Nicholas Cozart. Cozart freaking won the May tournament. At least he's going to Augusta no matter what. Let's go to the top. To the top, s'il vous plaît. And the leader is Julius Borles. He was the co-leader day one. Day two, he takes the lead with 9 under par. Tommy Bolt, who also was at 5 under par to start the tournament he has a 300 par 67, so Bolt is second behind Borles, so those two will know each other. Bryson DeChambeau is third with 700 par. Billy Kistner, no, Kevin Kistner, pardon, and Billy Maxwell are at 500 par, 600 par, pardon. Tony Lima and Jay Haber are at 500 par. And you see a host of others at 400 par, including Dustin Johnson and Jackie Cuppet. Yeah, that's his name. So we will take a look at, we will Finish on the 18th hole, which is kind of a par 3 to end the round. So the 18th hole will be the feature TV hole in the next round. So stay with us. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I did.